I'm Toy, I'm Masakas Toy from Kyoto University and I'm involved in the breast cancer treatment and also diagnosis as well. In Kyoto, they, we have the ca breast cancer clinic. They, I'm responsible for that. And this time, I'm very happy to participate in the Sanyuaren conference. <coughs> we can see the many new topics and uh, maybe, hopefully, we have the very good consensus as well. I think the, um, maybe you're asking two, t two issues. One issue is what is different for Japanese breast cancers. Uh, as far as I know, we don't have any big difference between the uh, cancers that happen in the Western countries uh, and the happens in uh, Japanese. I think the essentially are very similar in terms of the genomic profile and also protomics and also and so on and so on. And this is one issue. Another issue that so the, we ha still have the, some limitation on the data uh, for the genomic analysis in, in breast cancers from Japanese ladies. That is also true. It's much advanced in um, United States and the Europe, the Western countries. They have some um, gap the, in terms of the uh, genomic information uh, the, on breast cancer. We have the multiple steps, maybe. We have had multiple steps on this issue. One issue is a pathological assessment. The second phase is multi-gene assay uh, time. The what the, for instance, on DX or mammal print or other assays. The third one should be the genomic analysis. Era. We have uh, yesterday session also have a lot of information on genomic the profiling uh, I mean, the genomic analysis of the somatic uh, mutations, etc., from the um, primary tumors and also from the metastatic tumors as well. Uh, but that's the beginning in my understanding. And the, now we have the data that we don't know about the um, importance of the role um, in clinical situation. Uh, but so we have the information. That's the third step, maybe. Now we need to combine all these sort of things to understand the breast cancer further. The molecular profiling is still the, um, it's a bit behind from the top line, I guess. The, we use the Oncotype DX testing, for instance. Uh, this is, uh, well, the penetrating in Japan. And also we have some other tools, multi-gene assays, mama print, or the other uh, genetic assays. And also, obviously, we have the BRCA testing assays, but we don't have the um, more molecular profiling data at this moment. Prognosis, I think, the in hormone receptor positive, the tumors, the patients, I think the, um, that these assays, are in general, are useful to predict the prognosis in the presence of endocrine treatment, at least, and also maybe in the presence of chemotherapy as well. In Japan, the, these assays, margin assays, are not the covered by the um, social insurance system. So, that, so we have some limitations on this aspect. But in the future, it may be quite possible to get access to these assays easier. Uh, that is one issue. Another issue is more comprehensive assay system is coming. Uh, that would make some new advances in the maybe in the near future.